Hey guys, Master Guns here. Uh, video number three. Um, so I'm working on a piece right now. Uh, it's uh, one of the Heavy Gear plastics from the recent Kickstarter. And I uh, decided to kind of kick it up a notch on this one and add one of the armor cast cinematic effects. Um, and so what I want to go over today is using masking in order to uh, use your airbrush to get an object source lighting effect. Uh, so as you can see here, we've got the whole mini, it's just about done except for the base. Maybe a couple of fine details here and there. Um, but on the end of the, the Gatling cannon there, uh, I've got an armor cast medium burst cinematic effect. Uh, if I was to hand paint yellow paint over that um, with a brush, it would take a good couple of coats. And, um, and I just I think it looks kind of kind of chunky when you do it that way. So what I'm going to do instead is airbrush it. But obviously I don't want to get any overspray on the, the mini that I spent so much time, you know, uh, uh, highlighting everything to this point. So what I'm going to do is mask it and then um, hit the end with um, <coughs> white and yellow paint in order to, uh, to get that burst effect. Set that there. Alright, so what you want to do is just grab yourself a post-it note. Alright, just uh, fold the end back so it's kind of thick on the one side. And then you cut a slit see there uh, you cut a slit and a little cross at the top there and that's where the uh, the barrel of the gun's gonna go so we're gonna go ahead and put that on there and that's gonna protect the rest of the model from the overspray um, I've got some painters tape here that I'm gonna use to affix that to the base just so it doesn't move around too much <clears throat> a little bit of the model is gonna poke out over the top um, I probably could have cut it, you know, a little shallower towards the middle of the post-it. Um, but, you know, as long as you have pretty good airbrush control, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Alright, so we're going to put that back in there a little bit. Now, because the way light travels, um, in a real-world scenario, you know, you'd get reflections, or refractions, I'm sorry, of uh, uh, the cast-off light from the barrel, from the muzzle flash, um, probably over the entire miniature it would add almost a yellow hue to the whole thing so uh but of course this is a miniature we don't want to you know cover up all that paint we just uh spent all that time working on and so we're just gonna keep it limited to the uh to the the ends of the barrel and i might go back and and you know using a, a fine detail brush go in and add just a couple of high points of a uh, of yellow light so i've got my airbrush already loaded up with white primer uh, yellow over black is going to give you green, so you want to make sure you lay down a coat of white primer first. I'm just being very, very careful. You just want a thin enough coat to where you're still going to get that detail, but it's not going to obscure the model itself. If you get a little bit up onto the tip of the barrel, that's fine because that's kind of going to act as a guide to uh, uh, where we're going to keep the yellow paint up to. Okay, so that's probably going to be fairly sufficient to do what we need it to do. Um, Alright, so I'm going to clean out the hopper and put the yellow paint in and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to be using here is Lemon Yellow uh, from Reaper. Um, it's the lightest yellow I have and something you have to remember about muzzle flash is uh, it's going to be hotter towards the base than it is at the tip. Uh, and even when you're talking about fire, uh, obviously the hotter it is, it tends to be whiter. Um, the cooler it gets, it tends to be a more dark or opaque color, at least uh, as far as painting miniatures goes. So what we're going to do is going to give it a general kind of overspray just to get that yellow color laid down. And then we're going to build that color up more towards the tip.
Because remember, with airbrushing, you're putting down such a thin layer of paint that, um, you know, you can actually, you can do shade gradients without having to change your paints just by where you choose to uh, concentrate more pigment than others. So, still got a little bit of white showing through on the bottom. So now we're gonna concentrate more paint towards the tip. You can even go so far as to, you know, use a darker yellow at one point, or maybe add a little orange in for some flame effect or whatever. Um, you know, just whatever, whatever you're you're wanting to. What I don't recommend doing, that I see a lot of guys do when they try and do flame effects, is do not wash this. Um, I've seen some people wash it with yellow, with or I'm sorry, with orange, with red. Um, you know, if you like that effect, then go for it. I personally, I don't care for it. Uh, I like it to look more natural instead of exaggerated. So, okay. And uh, let's see, let's hit the backside a little bit more. As you can see, I can just, as long as I've got good brush control, I can kind of just go to town on this and not worry about getting any on the model. Okay, that looks like that's about done. Get that in focus there. Okay, that looks pretty good. A little bit up onto the end of the barrel. So let's take the screen off and see how it looks. Okay, then just throw that away. Or keep it for later use. Alright, so let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. Sorry, the, the overhead light's kind of washing it out, but as you can see, see if I can't find the focal length there. There it is. So as you can see, now it's got a pretty cool uh, uh, easy object source lighting. You can especially tell right there um, on the very end of the barrel. Where that that blast is coming out at so right there that's a good contrast right there all right guys i uh, hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned something as i promised uh these will get better as uh, as i progress and you know maybe one day i'll even start playing around with something uh other than the editing software on my phone so um if you like it let me know um other than that have a great day and get back to painting